Can you all see my shirt? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. I, I can start uh, anytime. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Okay, maybe we sh shall we start? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, I suppose I'm sharing this session. Um, yeah. So today we are very, very happy to have Lin Fei from um, uh, Michigan State, and uh, thank you for getting up so early and then giving a talk <laughs> at this hour. <laughs> um, yeah. So he will be speaking on modular space of uh, G local systems and Poisson geometry. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for the invitation and. Uh, so it's uh, 8 uh, a.m. in the morning here. So my little one is, st is still sleeping, but I, I'm afraid <laughs> she might get up any time. So might be interrupted. <laughs> but anyway, so let me start. Uh, uh, so I will talk about this uh, modular space of geolocal systems and uh, Poisson geometry. So I will start with some uh, basic definition. So um, we will fix G, this, which, which is a, a split, a semi-simple, uh, say a joint group over Q. And for example, we can consider uh, this is uh, PGON, is a typical example of this. And then S, this is an oriented, uh, surface, topologic surface with uh, punctures and uh, marked points. Okay, so uh, here's an example we can consider a surface um, with or without a, a boundary. And then uh, when we see a puncture, this is just uh, some interior points. And when we see marked points, there are some points on the boundary. Okay, and I will also assume that each boundary uh, circle has at least a one marked point. Okay, so this is a, a, a surface uh, S. And then associated to this uh, is, uh, so Falk and Gontrov, they introduce something called a, a framed geolocal system. So this is a space uh, denoted by XGS, and, and this is a G local system. In other words, this is just a, a principal G bundle over S and with flat connections over S, and then uh, plus a choice of uh, uh, flat sections. on this uh, associated bundle. So we can change the, the fiber by the flag variety. And then we can choose a, a flat sections of this uh, fiber for each uh, marked point and puncture. And this module space quotient out by the joint action of G. So that's a, uh, the modular space. And th these are called um, framed G local system. Okay. So uh, another way to see this is when we consider a G local system, basically, you just, uh, uh, this is a data of, uh, you can consider fundamental group of S and the mapping to uh, G. Okay. And so, in general, this is just a, a question out of this joint action. This maybe the, this is a usual uh, local system, but I also add some extra data, okay, uh, decorated by uh, flat uh, sections here. And in particular, 
for a puncture, the uh, the flag uh, chosen is uh, invariant under uh, the monogamy surrounding it. Okay, uh, so he, a puncture, uh, once again, is just an interior point here. And so uh, when we consider local system, locally there is a, like a monogamy around this. So I will choose a flag uh, here, which is invariant under this action, so G. Okay. So, uh, so that's a general definition. And I will consider some uh, examples later when we uh, introduce more definitions. So, um, so this is a space uh, of X, uh, and GS, and Gontroff and myself, uh, we sort of introduced an enhanced version of this, uh, which we called uh, P space. So this is uh, PGS, and by definition, this is X space plus some uh, further extra data. These are called uh, pinnings. Lin Hui, may I ask a yep. question? Uh -huh. When you when you say a G local system, and when you write HOM of pi one to G, mean by G you mean the complex points of G or the rational points of G? Uh, complex points. Complex points. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so. Uh, okay. So 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 then we can consider this uh, PGS. This is uh, X space plus uh, pinnings. And the goal is to show that the, there are some uh, natural Poisson structure. On this space. And more precisely, this is something called cluster Poisson structure. That's uh, from the serial overcast edge class. And we can further quantize this uh, space and and if we still have time, then I will talk about uh, in special cases, its connection with quantum groups. Okay. All right. So, so I have to say a few more words about pinnings. So what, so roughly speaking, if we consider a, a pair of a Borel subgroups, see, this is a pair. Uh, for example, we can consider this. G is the up triangular matrices and B prime is uh, lower triangular matrices. And we, we suppose that their intersection is, uh, is a billion. So this is a pair of like opposite uh, position, this pair. And then for any uh, simple, uh, positive uh, co root, see alpha i check, and then we can assign a homomorphism from SO2 to uh, G such that it maps this uh, up triangular matrices to some xi a in B and uh, maps uh, lower triangular matrix to something called YIA in B prime, and it maps uh, the diagonal matrix to uh, alpha I given by this uh, co root A in H. So, so for so every I, yes. Lin Kui, can I ask the, when you say post simple positive roots or co roots, this is uh, relative to the choice of. B, all right, it's for the pair H and yes, B. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. This depends very much on your on your choice of B and, and B prime, yes, right? Yes, yes, Okay, so this is not something you have chosen at the very beginning. It depends on right. B, yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So yes. I fixed a pair of uh, this. 
And then I can just choose this. Yeah. Okay, so so uh, uh, so this is essentially this is just a choice of for every i we have this and this is essentially a choice of uh, Chevrolet basis. So the data, uh, let's see, uh, uh, p, this is v, um, b prime, and together with alpha i. Here i goes from say one until r. I is the rank of g. This is called a pinning. Over this pair, B and B prime. Okay. Uh, okay, so then I can define this uh, the space P. So let me copy the uh, surface here. Okay, so besides the, the, the data for X space, then we can uh, also uh, associate a pinning to every pair here, like this. So these are just the pinnings called P and P prime and, and P here. So when I, when I say a pinning, because uh, I decorate each market point by, by flag, and I, I can transport this flag to, to some points here, for example. So this becomes a, a, an opposite uh, flag, and then I impose this pinning data. Excuse me, I have a question. Uh, is this the pinning the same as trivialization of principal bundle on the arc compatible? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to see in, in, uh, soon. Uh, yeah, so this P space. This is a, a framed a G local systems. And plus a, a pinning for, um, for every boundary arc. Oh, I'm not seeing the writing. It's oh, it, it's somehow it's frozen. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, uh, Probably let me uh, stop sharing and uh, wait. Okay, let me, let me share again. Sorry, my, my iPad suddenly cannot find this. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I've never seen this before, so it always works. So let me. Alternatively, you can just uh, connect to the meeting with your iPad directly. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, okay, let me try. Uh, I have to find the idea of the meeting again. 
Ну, Would it help if I sent you a, an email again? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe put it in the chat. Be... Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. No problem. So this is the meeting ID. Okay. And this is the password. Okay, so I've just made your iPad uh, co-host as well. You should be able to share. Okay. But don't forget to unmute yourself on your computer. Ah, so uh, I understand. So uh, on your iPad, uh, dis disconnect from Zoom and uh, connect again. Um, and then when it asks you whether you want to connect to audio, you should select no. We can't hear you. Is it okay now? We we can hear you, yeah, but we. Sorry, can't. thank you. You can you hear us? Yes, yes. Yeah, so we we can hear you. We can't see your screen though. Oh, I don't know. What... Can you see my screen now? Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very sorry about that. So <laughs> I, I don't know. It's all right. So so this is uh, 
this P space that I just uh, defined. Um, so this uh, plus pinnings and module G. Okay, so, um, so maybe one quick remark about this is, uh, we can, uh, so the, this one advantage for introducing this uh, data pinning is we can define the, the gluing map. Uh, is available. Okay, so the key factor is, as we just uh, uh, mentioned, these pinnings, if we consider the space of all pinnings, this is a, a G torsor. Uh, okay, so, so namely the group G acts transitively and freely on the set of all pinnings. So if we consider uh, some surface like this. And so we can identify C pinning on different arcs. And then, so there is a unique uh, group element P, G, uh, mapping C this P to P prime. So we can identify them and then this becomes a surface. Something like this, just by gluing this P and P prime. Okay, so this is uh, if this is S prime, after gluing we get a, a map S. So then, then we can define the map PGS to uh, PGS prime. So this map uh, gamma is uh, a Poisson as well. And furthermore, actually, it's compatible with uh, the so-called amalgamation of cluster varieties. And in particular, so if we consider a, a T uh, as an ideal triangulation, of S, when I see ideal triangulation, this is a triangulation whose vertices are just uh, those marked points and the punctures. So then uh, we can get a, 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 a gluing map. See, for, uh, for each triangle, there is a space, and then we can glue all the edges of those triangles and this will give us a map from this uh, uh, data PGT, uh, each T is a triangle, and to this PGS. And this gluing map is also uh, compatible with uh, the, the amalgamation. of uh, cluster varieties. Okay, so that's one uh, quick remark about this. Uh, and there are also some other advantages for, for this, uh, the existence of pinning. Uh, so for example, we can define something like, uh, so given any arc here, uh, we can define uh, there is a unique element, group element, uh, transport this uh, pinning P to P prime along this arc. And then you can define something called the uh, stated uh, quantum trace map. Eventually, I mean, this should be viewed as a generalization of the the quantum trace map of Donahue one and so on. Uh, but uh, maybe I, I should skip this. Okay, so, so now let's consider some uh, examples and, and also some variants. Uh, okay, so uh, in this definition, when I define P space, I assign a pinning to every boundary arc of the surface S. But uh, when we see variants, we can just uh, assign maybe some of them this uh, pinning data. And one example is when S is uh, 
Let's see, once punctured and disk, and plus let's see two mag points. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is a puncture, and then there are two marked points on the boundary. So before we can, uh, in the definition of P, we assign a pinning to, to uh, those two boundary arcs, but we can also just assign just one of them, a pinning, say P here. Okay, and then there is a unique, uh, if we trans transport along this arc, so there is a unique group element G here. And also we assign a flag B to this puncture, which is invariant under this group action G. So the data uh, defined this is, if we consider, call this P. So essentially this is just a group element uh, G together with a, a flag uh, uh, B such that this flag is invariant under the, the action of G. So this is nothing but this growth and decay spring resolution. So this one has the same dimension as G, right? Uh, yes, yes. I mean, it's nothing but this growth and decay resolution. So if mm -hmm. I forgot mm -hmm. this data B, then this is just a G. But mm -hmm. when I'm adding this B, it becomes mm -hmm. a and so if we can also consider, uh, you know, th this usual decomposition is GW as uh, BW, uh, B minus, B and B minus is just uh, an opposite uh, Borel and in, in G. So then we can further get a decomposition CG hat. This is a disjoint union of G. Okay. And so, uh, and correspondingly, we can consider a decomposition of uh, this uh, P theta. So we can uh, impose some like relative position condition here to this uh, arc. So if we consider there is a, a section B and B prime, we can transport them uh, to here to some say, midpoints, and we, we can require the, uh, some relative position, say, uh, and denoted by this W. And so this will also give us a decomposition. Okay. And so more precisely, this. Uh, the trivial one should correspond to, uh, oh, sorry, this, this W note one should correspond to this G identity. And in general, we, we have this, I think it's, uh, yeah, this is the same as GW hat here. Okay. And uh, so we can prove that. Uh, each P uh, W, I mean W inverse uh, W node hat, which is the same as G W hat. This is a, a cluster Poisson. Uh, variety. Uh, in other words, uh, if we consider the coordinate ring of this, uh, this guy, this is a, a uh, cluster Poisson algebra. I, I haven't defined the cluster Poisson algebra yet, but uh, I will do this very soon. And maybe a quick note is there were also uh, uh, works by, I think a long time ago by Evans and, and Lou, Professor Lou here. And so they consider Poisson structures on, on here as well. And, and, and I believe they are the, they are the same somehow. Okay, so this is one, uh, 
quick example. So, so we can somehow impose relative positions to uh, this each pair of flags. We can also just assign pinning to some of them. Okay. And another example is. Uh, so Linhui, this P, P tilde is not one of your examples of PG surface. It's not, right? Uh, this is a, the a variant. variant. Called yes. a variant. It's yeah. not, okay. Mm -hmm. So in general, I will assign, uh, say, pinnings everywhere. But here mm -hmm. I just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is another variant, that, which is also interesting. So, um, So, so now I am considering a, a square, a rectangle. Namely, this is just a disk with four marked points. As it, again, with one puncture here. So this time I'm assigning a, a pinning to those two uh, uh, vertical arcs. So there is a pinning P, another pinning P prime here. And now we can, uh, transport along this the arc here. So this is a G. And we can also transport along this arc here. This is another uh, G prime, okay. So if we just uh, consider uh, this space, then this is uh, the same as uh, G cross G. And we, we can show this, we can view this as uh, the model of uh, Greenfield double. And so uh, in, in my definition, I mean, if we just consider the original P space, then we should assign uh, pinnings to every boundary arc. As, as just uh, showed in the previous example, we can somehow uh, don't consider all the pinnings. And so there is another flag um, B associated to this puncture, but in this data, we can also forget this. So um, if we just uh, consider the space P, G, and uh, with uh, pinions associated to those opposite arcs, and also with B here, this is a cluster Poisson algebra, as you can show. And, but uh, to, for this B, there is actually a well group, well group action uh, alternating this B as uh, the usual well group action on the, uh, the cross uh, resolution. And then we can consider the, we can prove that this well group action also preserves this past the Poisson structure. And so if we consider the W invariant of this, this is also a, 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 a Poisson algebra. And one can show that this is the same as uh, the the so quadrant ring of uh, this Jungfeld double. So they are the same. And for the left hand side, the, there was an interesting construction by uh, Yakman and Misha Shapiro and uh, Van Steen. So they consider two different. Uh, so-called generalized uh, cluster structure. Okay, different meaning, uh, they cannot be uh, mutated equivalent to, to, I mean, to each other. Uh, but somehow the left-hand side, if we just consider this part, and we can show this is a cluster Poisson algebra. So there is a unique one here. So when, they, when we say this is different, somehow we can show that they are related by some uh, well group action. Somehow this well group action will give us, uh, in general, uh, many different uh, generalized uh, cluster structures. Okay, so um, there is another uh, related model is, uh, it's like this, you, you, if we consider a, a cylinder uh, with um, 
two marked points on each side. And if we can put pinning here, and put pinning here, okay. So again, you can just uh, travel along any arc. So this will give us two different Gs. So as a uh, space, this is also isomorphic to G cross G, but uh, the Poisson structure is different. And I, th I believe this, this model was also considered by Evans and uh, Lou in the same paper somehow. But I, I, I shall skip here too. Um, okay, so those are just uh, some variants and uh, uh, of this P space that I, I thought might be related to uh, the study of uh, Poisson geometry. Okay, any questions here? Maybe? Do you get, do you get G also? How do you get G? Uh, 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 one copy of G is just yes. a circle with a yeah, no this, is, this one is, uh, we, we can get G. No, uh, uh, I mean, there are two different ways. For this one, you, you, when you forget this B, you get G. And then- this is, but, but this is almost G star, not G, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry. if we put, uh, uh, okay, yeah. And I think- We can also this consider is... this without mark points. And mm -hmm. then uh, if you put pinning here and put pinning here, then the, the, this is just a one unique G. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so sorry, Chintan was saying, Chintan, you had a question? Yeah, I think in the chat, there is a question whether your G tilde oh. is half. Uh, well, the there's a question, when you go up, when you go up in your notes, there's, uh, at some point you wrote G, G tilde E and the G hat W other. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's obviously hard. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Sorry, what, what was the question? Uh, right, so the tilde and the hat is the same notation or do they have different meanings? Uh, uh, yeah, they, they, are, they are the same. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we should go. Okay, so uh, any other questions? If you just have the disk, oh, sorry, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Am I on? If you just have the disk with two, two marked points with no puncture, what do you get? Oh, this, uh, this space, uh, I, uh, I do not allow this. Uh, do Usually, not, I not, just not. require okay. that there are at least the three marked points. Okay. This, this is the basic model. Oh. So, uh, I, I didn't. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, so maybe. So now let me quickly talk about the uh, maybe the definition of uh, cluster Poisson algebra. And this is following uh, the definition of uh, Falcon controls. And one quick remark is uh, this uh, class of Poisson algebra uh, is uh, actually different from the, the usual cluster algebra or up class algebra of uh, forming the Levinsky. And uh, so instead, this should be somehow viewed as a mirror dual to uh, the usual uh, upcast algebra of uh, Berenstein and for me, Zalemowski. The main difference is the mutation formula is uh, are different. So, but instead the construction is uh, similar. So again, we will start with some seed. See F, this is a, a field of uh, rational functions in uh, variables uh, X1 into Xn. And then we can, uh, we also need some data, uh, which is a matrix. Uh, this is an uh, epsilon 
denote a matrix, this is a n by n a rational a skill symmetric matrix. And so uh, it also defines a Poisson bracket on this uh, F such that uh, the pairing between Xi and Xj is uh, two epsilon uh, Ij, Xi, Xj. Okay, so locally we just uh, get uh, some uh, uh, a set of variables and together with the matrix, we define a, a Poisson structure here. Uh, so now uh, we also need one uh, extra condition. So if we uh, fix M, which is less or equal to N, we have to uh, uh, impose another condition that epsilon ij are integers and for any uh, I between one and M, J between one and N, okay. So the data, uh, this sigma together with uh, this set of variables, X1 until uh, Xn and this epsilon, this is called a seed. Okay, so then, so locally, this is just uh, some, again, uh, some set of variables together with a Poisson structure in, of this format. Hmm. Okay, so then we can define something called uh, mutations. So for any K between one and M, we can define a new uh, new chart. Uh, Let's call this uh, XK line. So this is a set of uh, new variables, X1 uh, prime into Xn prime, and such that. So this Xi prime is equal to uh, XK inverse, if uh, I is equal to K and Otherwise, this is xi times one plus uh, x uh, k to the minus of sine uh, epsilon i k and minus epsilon i k okay. if i is not equal to k. So, so, uh, so this one will give us a new uh, set of variables for, for this f. And then we can rewrite this Poisson structure, this Poisson bracket here in terms of new variables. So in terms of this uh, new set of variables in uh, XK, and then this uh, Poisson bracket becomes uh, some, some uh, say Xi prime, X uh, J prime, uh, this is two epsilon uh, I J prime, X I prime and X J prime. Okay, so there is a explicit formula for this epsilon I J prime. I will skip, but uh, but you, there is another commentary way to interpret this. There's something called a, a quiver mutations, but in general the, we can get a new set of uh, matrix called epsilon uh, prime. Okay. So the data uh, here, we will get a new seed. Uh, for this uh, sigma uh, k, this is a set of these variables together with the new matrix. Okay. And so this new data, this procedure of obtaining this new uh, data it's called a uh, seed mutation uh, at K. Okay. And uh, so in general, we see a seed 
sigma prime is mutation equivalent to the original sigma if uh, this sigma prime can be obtained from uh, this sigma by a sequence of mutations. So, uh, so the picture is the following. So we start with some uh, explicit uh, seed uh, uh, sigma, and then we can mutate at uh, directions, say, and I mean, we fix an M, so at these M directions. And we can, we can further mutate them, starting with, uh, with the new obtained one. So eventually we get infinite many, uh, uh, new seeds. Okay, so so this will become a, a, a M regular tree. So from this original seed here. Sorry. Okay, so, so now we can define this uh, cluster Poisson algebra. So uh, for uh, every chart in, in a seed, see Xn, we can write the, the ring of uh, Laurent polynomials. This is just the polynomial ring is a variable here. So if we're uh, starting with one, with a seed sigma, then we can get a, a cluster and Poisson algebra. Okay, this is just as an intersection of all uh, seed that are mutation equivalent to some original one sigma. And for each one, there is a Laurent polynomial ring, and we consider the intersection of them. In other words, we just consider all those functions that can be presented as a Laurent polynomial in each uh, seed. Okay. So sometimes they are called universal, universally Laurent polynomials. And a quick remark is, uh, this uh, algebra, the cluster Poisson algebra, carries a, a natural a Poisson structure. Locally, it's just uh, defined by star. Okay, so let me go back here. So in, in terms of this particular coordinates, it's just this one. And so since we impose the condition that uh, this, uh, this uh, Poisson structure is compatible with the mutation, so we can just lift this to, to the, the whole algebra. And another quick remark is, uh, so this, uh, Poisson algebra admits a natural quantization. And again, this is following the work of um, Falk and Gontroff. As a construction is similar, so we can, this is called a uh, OQ uh, sigma. So locally, we can uh, replace this. Uh, polynomial ring by some uh, quantum torus algebra. And then you can just uh, consider the intersection of them. So we have this uh, T uh, sigma prime. This is a quantum torus algebra.
which quantize in the, the, the polynomial ring. And then the, 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 so the, the, this quantum cluster mutation is, uh, can be constructed by, uh, by a conjugation uh, of, uh, of this um, quantum that something called a quantum dialogue. Uh, series. Okay, so uh, I shall skip the, the details here. Uh, okay, so that's just a, a very uh, rough. Okay, do we always get infinite many seeds? Uh, no, actually. Uh, so sometimes uh, after a, a finite steps of mutations, this will go back to the original one. So in fact, uh, there is a, a classification of this, this. So if we only get finite many seeds, this is something called a, a cluster algebra of finite type. And that they can be classified by this Dinkin diagram. So, so there is a, a very beautiful result on this uh, the case when these, there are only finite nodes. Uh, OK, so, uh, so now the theorem. So the, the modular space uh, PGS, this carries a, a natural uh, cluster Poisson structure. Okay. Uh, in other words, if we consider the coordinate ring, of this uh, space. Actually, this is a, a, uh, this is a cluster uh, Poisson algebra. So this PGS is an affine variety? Uh, uh, in general, no. But uh, if uh, this, this surface has no punctures, this is an affine variety. So more precisely, mm -hmm. I, maybe this is a ring of uh, regular functions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if uh, if it has only uh, uh, marked points but no punctures, then this is an alpha variety. But um, okay. okay. So so the coordinate ring of this is a uh, uh, cluster Poisson algebra. And. And also the mapping class group. of uh, S is X, uh, X on this, uh, also X on this space, right? And this action will preserve the uh, cluster Poisson structure. Uh, in other words, every action actually can be realized uh, as a sequence of mutations as defined above. Mm. Okay, and so if, uh, I, I believe this is a, a technical condition, but uh, if, so far we have to impose this condition that if S is not an, uh, once punctured, closed uh, uh, surface. Once punctured meaning, I mean, this is once punctured uh, genus one surface and maybe genus two and so on. Okay, we have to exclude uh, those uh, examples mm. because somehow they are two folded and, and we, we cannot prove the result uh, here. So if this these are not this kind of surface, then actually we can prove that this uh, uh, coordinate ring carries a canonical basis. With uh, 
positive uh, integer coefficients. Okay, so these are some uh, construction of uh, Gauss, Hagen, and Kierkegaard Kortewicz. So they construct construct some formal basis for this space by counting broken lines on scattering diagrams. So in general, they are not a basis for class Poisson algebra, but you have to prove some other condition like the existence of the maximal green sequence and so on right, to make sure that those the the basis constructor are real basis for this. And we can prove this for for this surface. Um, how many times do I left? Have you? Well, you, well, technically five minutes, but uh, I think you, because you, there were some. Yeah, I can finish in 10 minutes. If that okay, be. yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, okay, so this is uh, the result. It just shows that somehow this uh, modular space carries a class of Poisson structure, which is natural because it's compatible with a uh, uh, mapping class group action. And there are also some other group actions which are, will also preserve this uh, construction. Okay, so, uh, so now let's focus on one uh, example. Maybe part four. Let's consider the, the quantization of this uh, golden ring and its connection with uh, this quantum group. Okay, so, well, first of all, as we just mentioned that uh, every uh, class the Poisson algebra admits a, a natural Q, uh, Q deformation. I call it this OQ. EGS, okay. And actually they're also together with a, a star representations. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this is again work of Falcon Gontrov. When I see star representation in this, uh, this algebra show X on some uh, uh, Hilbert space. Uh, maybe, yeah. So this, uh, uh, so there's, there's a functions excellent by like self the joint operators, and so we can further study the representations and so on. Mm. Okay, so now we will focus on a particular example. So if we take a a boundary. Mark the point. Okay, so so this is just uh, some some part of the surface, and there is a one marked point here. So we, we so that so we can just assign a flag to this, and so for the left arc there is a pinning P, and for the uh, right arc there is another pinning P prime. So there is a unique uh, group element B, where I transport P to P prime as we just defined, and we know that this B will take this uh, this uh, flag B invariant. So in other words, there exists a unique uh, B uh, contained in this uh, Borel or this flag, such that this uh, this B maps P to P prime. So in particular, we can choose this, uh, we can assume this B to be the Borel of up triangular matrices. I mean, you can always transport the left uh, B to this some standard one. So, so this uh, B, uh, locus B is, and then we can further uh, 
rewrite this B as a product of U times H. U is a unimportant uh, subgroup here in B and H is got down. Okay, so, uh, so then we can consider some uh, regular functions associated to B. I will call this um, WI. This is something called additive character chi i x on u. And ki, this is a, a simple root x on h. So what is this? Uh, so this is additive character uh, given by uh, the opinion of P in general. So uh, roughly speaking, this U is an, uh, if we consider the PJN, this U is just an up triangular matrix. And so then we can consider uh, this uh, entries on the sub diagonal. So then uh, in this case, so if U is something like this, then actually we can get uh, three regular functions, chi one, chi two, and chi three. So they are just uh, A, B, and C. Okay. Those uh, entries of this uh, uh, sub diagonal in, in, in this matrix. And H is just uh, some, some uh, diagonal matrix, and then we can apply this simple root here. This alpha i, this is a C. Okay, so those are regular functions. And so actually this, uh, this functions also appears in, in a different context. For example, we consider this, 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 sometimes we call this potential functions and this will form some uh, like lambda Ginzburg model to, to, to something else. Okay, so, uh, but the key point is these uh, functions uh, can also be quantized. Okay, so that's uh, one lemma. There is a, a unique uh, quantum lift. This and W i goes to some uh, I guess maybe some function and this like bold the W i maybe and K i goes to some bold K i. They are uh, functions on the Q deformation of this uh, Poisson algebra. And this is uh, unique. Um, okay, so now I, we can somehow give a, a cluster realization of the quantum group. So if we consider UQG, this is a, be the quantum group and associated to uh, to this. Uh, the algebra of G. Okay, so then uh, I let uh, this S. I, I use this notation. This is a, a once uh, punctured uh, disk with uh, two mark points. Okay, so, so then, uh, so the local the data is like this. Uh, we have a, a puncture here uh, with uh, two marked points. And for here, we have uh, this, this set of functions, W, I, I call this uh, W, I and K, I. And, for, and this, this one, for this marked point, we have W, I prime and K, I prime. Okay. So the, the uh, theorem, this is uh, again a, a work in progress. And in fact, we can get a, 
a natural uh, an isomorphism from the quantum group to uh, so we can consider this uh, this modular space associated to this uh, surface, and we can we can consider the quantization. And for for this uh, flag, th there is a well group action. So again, we can consider the W invariance of this. And also, uh, it turns out K i times K i prime. This is a central elements here. And we can trivialize these central elements, ki prime. So there is a, a map from here to this uh, uh, algebra, and this is actually an isomorphism, which takes the generators ei, fi, and ki to this uh, wi, wi prime, and ki. Okay, so, um, and as a consequence, we get a, a globe, a, a natural basis, a canonical basis. I mean, canonical, this is not the, the same as a canonical basis of low state of this UQG. Uh, um, probably I should stop here, but just one quick remark mm -hmm. that Lustig consider canonical basis for UQN, but somehow we can extend, we can find this, actually this UQG has also some canonical basis. And this is co uh, compatible with Lustig's uh, weight group actions and so on. And we can also show that the structural coefficients of this uh, with structural coefficients in uh, this polynomial ring with, uh, I mean, Laurent polynomial ring with integer coefficients. Okay, so maybe let me uh, stop here. Thank you very much. Oh. Well, thank you so much. Uh, any any questions? Okay. So, so, what is the what is the is it possible in general to have a formula for the dimension of this PGS? Uh, yes. Uh, uh. I think this is a uh, uh, there is an expressed formula which depends on uh, the number of. Uh, marked points and uh, number of punctures, of course, and also the, 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 the genus of G. Hmm. Uh, I so forgot that, this formula. This is uh, uh, it's just uh, uh, some product uh, of them and so on. But the number of frozen uh, variables, is that just only depending on the number of this number of points on the boundary? Yes, yes, number of frozen. Uh, yeah, yeah, so the, that I, I remember. So the number of frozen mm -hmm. is equal to the rank of G times the number of marked points. On the on the bank. Ah, on the bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah, so um, mm -hmm. more precisely, it's actually the number of uh, this, uh, intervals that are cutting by the, the boundary. Right. Right, right. But for each uh, interval, there is a, a cut down group somehow, so which mm -hmm. is dimension is equal to rank of change. Right, right. Um, so the um, so you've been talking about this like in this ensemble, and this is just the X picture, am I right? Yes. So all yes. You've been, and so then the, there's an A picture as well, just for the whole whole thing. Yes. So so there is a, another dual picture called A space, and this already defined by, by an, an Falcon Gontroff. And they showed that for, uh, maybe I can quickly, when G is SLN, uh, so they showed that this has a cluster structure. So this is- uh, Upper cluster or a cluster? Uh, uh, 
I think it's up cluster. Hmm. Yeah. And by the way, this uh, S has no punctures. I think they are the same. But hmm. I mean, it's not uh, written in the literature, but I, I probably know hmm. how to prove that. Uh, hmm. But in general, it's, this is up uh, clustered. And hmm. so then when G is a classical group, uh, this is uh, some work of uh, Yan Li. So he uh, also introduced uh, a cluster structure for, for this A space. Yeah. And then and our construction actually works for any semi simple group. There's, again, this is a, the work in, of control from myself. So, Another comment is for those two groups, they just constructed some uh, a family of quivers, and then they showed that the the flip of diagonals are uh, class limitations. But in our construction, we actually we somehow extended the family of quivers. So here, the for example, for this SLN, um, there is a symmetry, so one can introduce some quiver like this. So this is just a local picture for, for this for this PG uh, sorry AGT T is a triangle, and so that's a quiver. And then when you glue different triangles, you just uh, glue uh, them along the boundary uh, frozen ones. And after gluing them, those boundary frozen variables becomes unfrozen. Mm -hmm. But this one is uh, like symmetrical for type A case and. But in general, it's not that symmetrical. So you have to verify more things. Um, okay, so that's that's some uh, work on the dual space. And somehow one can show they form the cluster ensemble. Uh, and then you have this fork counter of conjecture all holds for this ensemble? Uh, this yeah. So, so if we, again, the, we have to, uh, Avoid the, the, the case when this, I think, I, let's go up. Avoid the case that of this one. Mm. Yeah. For, for those, I think they are still, they were, I mean, at least for one direction, this will still hold. Mm. Namely, um, but um, namely, this one uh, has a basis and they can be parametrized per by G. This is a Langlands dual S the chalky book points. Uh, sorry, not the uh, ice model. So this tropical point, there is something called tropicalization and the tropical point will parametrize a basis here. Mm -hmm. um, the other direction, I, I don't know. The, 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 mm -hmm. this, this, the other direction is hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so maybe another comment I forgot to mention, but I uh, should. So for this result, uh, this, this, there was some work by, uh, I think first of all considered by Schrader and uh, Shapiro, uh, uh, Sasha Shapiro. Okay, so they construct, a, uh, I don't know if I have a, a picture of this. So they constructed some uh, quiver, which turns out to be uh, the same as a cluster structure for, for this uh, space. And they give a realization of this to, to the class of variable uh, defined by that quiver. And, but the hard part is we want you to show that actually the image is exactly the, the uh, one. So this result, that the work in progress, somehow is a refinement of, uh, of that for, for SLN. Okay. And there are also some, some work by uh, Ivan Eep. And he considered uh, for a general group, but again, he didn't prove that the image uh, landing on here. And, his, uh, and I think that he also didn't prove that so he basically for any reduced decomposition uh, uh, of W node, he constructed a, a embedding from here to some quantum torus algebra. 
but he cannot prove uh, they are compatible with the mutations. And furthermore, the image uh, is uh, regular, I mean, are regular functions, which are exactly here. Mm -hmm. um, so this work is somehow should be viewed as a refinement of their works. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, any any other any questions in the audience? Okay. Can't see the picture. Lu Jianghua, you muted yeah. yourself. Oh, I, I know because uh, Adele wanted to talk to me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just for a moment. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, any 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 comments or any questions? I cannot say. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Oops. Am I still there? I, am I okay. I think I'm still yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I cannot see the people. Cannot see people. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah, okay. Uh, let me. Uh, I can. I can ask a participant. Okay. So um, maybe if there's uh, no questions. We uh, so let us thank uh, Ding Hui again and see the next talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, um, yeah, so we, uh, okay, thank you, thank you, and thanks to everybody uh, for coming. So, see you guys all next week. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Hello.